Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey from Antelope Audio. In previous tutorials, we've shown you how to install and register your new Antelope Audio interface. In this video, we're going to look at getting some lovely audio out of your shiny new interface when it's hooked up to a Windows PC connected via Thunderbolt. Now, there are some more steps in this process than you might expect, so please bear with me right to the end as we get set up. Right, let's get on it. The first time you connect your new Thunderbolt interface, Windows will ask you for approval. You can see we have a drop down selection here. Choose Always Connect and hit OK. You should have already installed both the driver software for your specific interface and the Antelope Audio Launcher software. If you haven't, then you should check out those videos in the series before proceeding. Now, to make sure the interface you're using, in this case the Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Synergy Core, is connected correctly, start the Antelope Launcher and check the device is showing up correctly and that the Thunderbolt driver is showing as current. One of the first things you may wish to do is to make your new interface the output for all your system sounds, including iTunes, Spotify, your other streaming services, and any video playback such as YouTube. Because the Antelope Audio Thunderbolt driver is currently not supported natively under Windows, we have to use a third-party application like VB Audio Software's Voice Meter to route your Windows sounds to the connected Thunderbolt interface. Voice Meter is a free to download application that acts as a bridge between Windows and the Antelope Audio ASIO Thunderbolt driver. Once you have downloaded and installed Voice Meter, you will need to reboot your system. The Antelope Audio development team are currently working on a fully compatible Windows Audio and ASIO Thunderbolt driver for Windows systems, which means there will be no need for third party software. However, for now, head to your Windows control panel, Hardware and Sound, and click on Sound. You will see that the Antelope Audio Thunderbolt driver, or any device named Discrete 8 Synergy Core, is not present. Instead, select Voice Meter Input for your playback, hit Set as Default, and then hit OK. Now, launch Voice Meter. This is a very feature rich piece of software, but the section we're concerned with is the hardware output in the top right of the GUI. In A1, select Antelope Audio Thunderbolt. In A2, select Remove Device Selection. If you do select a device and it has speakers attached, the output sound will be routed to both devices, which may be handy at times, but not always desired. You can then check that audio is being routed to voice meter by launching an audio playback application like iTunes and playing back. Windows applications will not automatically pick up the change in device settings, so you'll need to restart them. Also remember, some applications like the Adobe Creative Suite have their own audio preferences which can override the system settings. So if you find that the sound from your Adobe Premiere projects are not coming from where you expect, this could be why. Now turn down your headphone and monitor outputs, just to make sure we don't damage anything, and connect your active speakers or power amp. You can also connect your headphones. Now start some tunes and ease up the volume. You should start to hear playback very soon. If you don't hear beautiful music, don't panic. It could mean that your routing is not configured correctly. Head to the launcher and start the control panel for your device. Make sure that the input is getting to the control panel. You should see the channel meters bouncing up and down and bring up the level slowly. And we have music. However, you didn't just buy your Antelope Audio interface to route the system sounds through it. You want to use it with a DAW. We do have some more DAW specific tutorials that give you more detailed instruction in how to set up your audio interface. But for now, just remember that you need to tell your DAW to route its audio through your new Antelope interface. We are showing this process in Pro Tools, but as said before, we do have more detailed DAW specific getting started tutorials, so be sure to watch the video for your chosen DAW. Your DAW audio does not need to be routed through voice meter. You can choose the interface directly as we are no longer routing through Windows Audio. You also do not need to have the voice meter app running when you use your DAW. However, using voice meter means you can run your system sounds through your interface at the same time as running your DAW, which is not something that Pro Tools in particular normally plays nicely with. A good way to check your DAW is working is to route a click track to both the audio outputs and to the headphones. You can have these on the same output assignment or different if you wish to create specific headphone mixes from your DAW. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. My name is James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. Beep.